nasha na tu momento tu tabatni wo tu chikinni sen o komis tabatni wo chi sa pausu wo sukati e hona notas ni no menantiok king nota ye o pentaminok and the mayo ni no mai kwantam kichia ka mata wo nantam ka nagoti e kokutam ni no wan menatu wo sukati e hona wo menatati yo ka no so komuso amoke ni no ken kanto chokes I greet you in the words of this land in my Nipmunk language. I greet you in the words of peace and reciprocity, and that during this time we would, you know, there's no exact translation for it, but in our language we say the sharing of our breaths. And when we say the sharing of our breaths in our language, that means this, the spirit, because as we breathe, we recognize that is our spirit. So we're exchanging our spirits when we speak and when we talk. And we recognize that in the, in, the, in the way that when we say that when we talk, we're sharing our spirit, something that I think is forgotten. And I also talked about that we would have our ancestors in this place, that there can be a reconciliation um, amongst them uh, in regards to the different backgrounds we all come from, if they've um, been a part of uh, um, things in the past that were detrimental to, to the people of this land. The other curriculum that I talked about, Circle Tied to Mother Earth, mm -hmm. which is the uh, middle school. So as I mentioned, it's based on the indigenous people of, of the land, those traditional stories. So we have native scholars training teachers how to share that book, because we know they're not going to have the understanding and the, and the comprehension of, of, of understanding that the way that needs to be applied. And so we have a guide for them. Um, and so yes, I am. Um, and so it's a really um, a complex question. Truthfully, I was kind of joking, but uh, but so because you have uh, you have like appropriation, and then you have uh, where people are trying to share your story to uplift your community and to bring notoriety to it. Those are I think that's important, uh, and but it's important that they don't um, intersect uh, because you know we have appropriation and, and that's that's a big problem in in, uh, in tribal communities. Um, but um, I think these books and other native writers who have published their work, they want it to be shared. They want people to know about their, their tribal community. And that's the reason why I, I want everybody to know about, I wish everybody could speak Nipmuc, right? <laughs> so I, um, I, I want to share that in that way. But and, again, we have people who take on these identities and then go profit from it. And, and so that's, that's still a problem. And I was struck that you, you yourself asked for permission to tell the story in this form as well. Yes. So I, that's probably a part of however the stories are to be retold. It should be with consent and with absolutely approval. because nobody. Uh, so we don't. Nobody owns the stories. Yeah. They're part of the. They're part of the people. They're part of the land. And so if these stories were passed down to my elders, which then came to me, so I need to be talking to people who are older, mm -hmm. who's been sharing them before I did, mm -hmm. because they're, um, they're they're a gift that I can now pass on. So I have to be responsible. And then mm -hmm. when the time comes, though, somebody will come and ask me. Mm -hmm. And these protocols help keep that respect and help keep the the sacredness and the value of it. Um, it doesn't become commodified. Uh, it doesn't become something that you can be bought and paid for. 